Yeah, I want to give a word out there about vitamin C in smokers. Um, you probably know, or well, you, maybe you don't know this. Actually, cigarette smoking totally depletes the body of vitamin C. It actually takes out, for each cigarette smoked, up to 25 milligrams of vitamin C out of the body due to all the toxins that are in the cigarettes. Now, your recommended daily requirement for vitamin C per the book, if you want to call it that, per the book that you want to say that, is 60 milligrams. So three cigarettes actually can take out the effects of your entire recommended daily allowance. They're thinking about doubling the uh, recommended daily allowance and also a lot of times doctors will recommend more vitamin C for smokers specifically for this reason because you deplete a lot of the vitamin C in your body by smoking cigarettes. Now the other caveat about this also is that uh, you know you probably you know younger people don't think about this but obviously um, probably older people have seen the effects of this. Cigarette smoking will uh, affect the skin health because it does affect the collagen production. But I have to state this. If you notice, there are some areas in the world where there's some serious smokers that live to be 100 years old or even more. There's actually a, a, the fabled um, village of long life in Japan that was a feature, I think it was on 2005 on ABC News whereby there were people that are 100 years old that still had smooth smooth skin and they would s smoke cigarettes often. They were outside in the sunlight. They think it possibly, well, obviously it must be something to do with the diet too. Uh, it might have been a hyaluronic acid, but it also could have been from higher nutrients in the soil, maybe even vitamin C. Now, vitamin C has been known to be a protector against all kinds of toxins and effects of... Well, basically, it protects your skin, too. You know, if you're actually not even look, thinking about health, you might think about the effects where it can actually protect the skin. And actually, it protects the skin by protecting the collagen. Uh, the collagen will not just go through the skin, it'll be part of the skin, but also it goes throughout the body, whereby it's in the connective tissue. And maybe this will, you know, if a breakdown in coll collagen will cause all kinds of problems. Actually, smokers are known to be more at heart, you know, heart problems, heart risk, heart attack risk. Now, vitamin C has also been known since it's a nutrient. I, I don't really know what you can call it. It's not even, the word vitamin is probably not the best word to call vitamin C by. It's, 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 it's something that's actually found in the entire animal world in great quantities per pound or kilogram of weight far more than in, in humans um, and it's been known to protect animals against living out in the wild in harsh environments where you know people would not be able to survive but it's been known to protect all types of species no matter what it is whether it's humans or whether it's uh, people that get toxins in, in their body even from a rattlesnake bite or vitamin C can negate the effects of these toxins. The more toxins you're putting into your body, the more vitamin C you take, the more it can possibly negate it. It probably could totally negate it because it's an electron donor that's working against toxins. Now, I think this makes a lot of sense from this other uh, rat, other uh, viewpoint because of there is certain instances in the world whereby people who have lived um, you know, past 100 years in very good health, even without any kind of modern health care, they have done it through nutrition. And, you know, it's in certain areas of the world where there seems to be much better nutrients in the soil. I don't know exactly what they are, but if you look at some of the best research by medical doctors, vitamin C has been known to pretty much combat any disease they've known any kind of viruses, any kind of, well, anything you can really run up against, vitamin C will, seems to combat. I mean, I'm not going to make, I wish I could really, you know, that sounds like a pretty broad claim. I do not want to even state even beyond what I think. I think it probably pretty much can conquer anything. If you look at the works of Dr. Linus Pauling, um, I know there's been detractors of him, but 
You know, he's shown where high quantities of intravenous vitamin C have worked against cancer. Now, it is a fact, though, that a lot of doctors today are recommending that smokers take a little bit more vitamin C than normal. And they're also thinking about raising the recommended daily allowance of vitamin C from 60 milligrams to um, 120 milligrams. But I actually take at least 10,000 milligrams a day, believe it or not. And I don't consider that to even be that ridiculous. Much, that much of an amount that's way beyond where you should take because according to some medical doctors, there's been no known toxic upper limit for vitamin C. So I take a lot of it. But uh, I just want to kind of put this out here because a lot of times uh, people, you know, who are smokers, you know, maybe they're not thinking about their health too much, but this might be one of the simplest things to possibly help combat the, the effects of smoking. But also, you know, a lot of times people even that are into health, maybe they're outside on a beach running all the time, they, um, they're out in the sun, they get a lot of skin damage. Uh, vitamin C is an also something that can help repair the skin. It's been known as something that helps promote the body's healing. So, you know, I, I really, I, I guess I really can't flat out state this, but I'm very, my, from everything I've read, and I just can't put out hours worth of documents that I've read, but I highly, highly suspect that mega vitamin C could possibly negate the ill effects of of smoking. You know, I, I don't want to really flat out state that because, you know, I don't want to lead somebody down the wrong path and say, you know, hey, that that's going to make you safe from smoking if you take, you know, thousands of milligrams a day of vitamin C. But personally, I don't even smoke and I take 10,000 or more milligrams a day of vitamin C. If I was a smoker, I'd probably take at least 20,000. But that's my personal choice. I don't want to tell people to do that. But if you really dig into how strong vitamin C is for not just affecting, um, you know, negating toxins in the body, but also, you know, sun damage of the skin, healing, promoting problems whereby maybe the body's damaged from heart attacks can help repair and heal tissue inside the body. And promote the collagen growth, which is something else that people are worried about when they're smoking because they get a lot of skin damage from the toxins in the cigarettes. And then if you're out in the sun a lot, you'll get even more skin damage, right? So I just want to kind of point this out as a... Uh, I'm not going to really point to all the scientific studies because I've read many of them, but I want to tell... Because there's going to be people out there that are going to detract from this message. There's doctors out there that, i never seen any doctor that flat out said, if you take a lot of vitamin C, you'll be safe from cigarette smoking. I never saw that. But I have seen doctors that have said that vitamin C works against any toxin. It can help even for people that had problems with their heart. It can help with people when they have problems with um, tissues in their body that aren't repairing or healing as fast. It can help from maybe even sun-damaged skin. Um, and it could possibly even help with anti-cancer. You know, that's Dr. Linus Pauling. I know some people tell you he's no good, he doesn't know. He, but I have to tell you, I don't, I think there's, well, I can't really make this video too damn long. But uh, if I was a smoker, I know one thing. I'd definitely be taking mega vitamin C. But that's your personal choice. And I just want to kind of like alert you to that there's a lot of studies out there that you know a little bit of vitamin extra vitamin c can help but there's other studies out there that mega vitamin c can probably help a great deal because this is one of the main things i guess i want to leave you with um if you look at the animal world almost all animals produce far more vitamin c in their own bodies than we take for the recommended daily allowance like a little cat that might weigh 12, 14 pounds, they'll have two and a half milligrams or 2,400 milligrams, two, excuse me, two and a half grams or 2,400 milligrams 
of vitamin C in maybe a 13, 14 pound cat. A goat might produce 14,000 milligrams of vitamin C in a 160 pound goat. Maybe that's the average human weight, 160 pounds average. Uh, a goat, if it gets sick, produces hundreds of thousands of milligrams of vitamin C to combat the sickness. They found in studies if they take the capability of producing their own vitamin C away from mice, the mice longevity is only half. There's only a few species of animals in the world that do not produce their own vitamin C in their body. One is humans and it looks like we used to have that capability because we have all four genes to do that uh, to do so but one of them is dormant so possibly even the uh, stories in the Bible from people living hundreds of years old is true because doctors, some people, scientists will say that um, if we had this capability again, we would live to be much, much older and stay younger much, much longer. Um, the other species that does not produce their own vitamin C is monkeys, uh, guinea pigs, and a certain species of bat. Otherwise, throughout the entire animal world, all animals produce vast quantities of vitamin C in their own body, and if they did not have this capability, your lifespan would be greatly reduced, and it would succumb to the elements living out in the wild. So, I don't know, you know, I look at it from this rationale that, you know, if you're smoking a lot of cigarettes, and you're going to do it anyway, <laughs> you know, it's like, you know, vitamin C might be a smart thing to do. Doctors in themselves would tell you it's probably a good idea to take a little bit of extra vitamin C for a cigarette smoker because they do know it depletes the cigarette smoke, does deplete a lot of vitamin C out of the body. The What I've read was 25 milligrams per cigarette. Now somehow I can't believe that's 25 milligrams for each cigarette because, you know, after a pack you'd have no vitamin C and you would have scurvy, but, you know, that's what I've read, and but we do know it does deplete a lot of vitamin C from the body, and uh, taking extra vitamin C for being a smoker is not a bad idea. I actually personally suspect, highly suspect from, like I said, other related ra readings I did that taking mega mega vitamin C might protect you from smoking. Period. Might, because there have been people throughout the world that have been smoking two packs of cigarettes a day and are 100 years old. It's rare. It's, it seems to be in certain instances of the world, like the village of long life in Japan, but it has something to do with their nutrition. I don't know exactly what they're doing, but um, vitamin C might be one of the smartest damn things to do. So, <coughs> anyway, you know, don't want to take this as gospel advice. I don't want you to take this as ironclad advice but I mean I personally already take vitamin C in mega doses and I'm not a smoker but if I was a smoker I'd probably take mega doses times two so just want to put this out here because um, you know I wish I flat out knew for certain because it's not that easy for me to let me put it to this way I feel very very strongly that this would work but I don't want to lead anybody down the wrong path either you know, where you say you're safe, because I don't, I can't guarantee that, but I suspect it would work, I suspect. Is that a good enough word? I'm sorry, I can't put out more than that, because you really can't, you know, you can only, you can only say so much, that's all there is to it.